Good morning, everyone. I wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial this morning before I jump on my first call. Um, so I thought I'd go over how to do a word mark. It's one of those kind of picky graphics with Substack and thought it might be helpful. So we're just going to jump right in. I am going to share my screen today. Um, once that pulls up. Okay, so on Substack, as you know, when you start out, your the name of your Substack is just at the top here in whatever heading font you cho chose to use. Um, and then there's this, where you find the publication word mark is under your dashboard, settings, and branding. So there's two places. One is right here, um, the second item on the branding section. The other is if you go into your edit theme and on the left side, choose branding. And then there is publication logo and publication wordmark again. Okay, so with this, um, Substack says that what you need is a graphic that is at least 1344 by 256 pixels. So I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create this. So jumping over to Canva, which I have open in a new tab, you're going to choose a custom size. And then you're going to put in that size 1344 by 256. And then you're going to go create new design. Now you can create a word mark with a paid account on Canva or a free account on Canva. I do have a paid account, but you don't absolutely need one. Um, and sorry, my computer is having issues loading as usual, but we'll get there. So it's quite long and narrow. You do not have to fill the space with words. Um, it is perfectly fine to just use a single size font. So. I'm going to head straight to coat or sorry, straight to text um, and put in my title heading. Now I have set up a branding package on Substack. Again, not necessary. You can just, it'll say something like title or headings and then easy to use or um, body text, something along those lines. So I'm just gonna choose my title text um, which already says Substack Coach, but if it doesn't, you just type over what it is that you want. Now I have since setting this up, I've changed my uh, branding font that I want to use. So at the top here is your fonts. And I am going to choose this one, King Red Modern. Anything with a crown beside it is a Canva Pro or a paid version. But without the crown, there are plenty of font options, you can see all the popular ones, and the list just goes on and on and on. So you should be able to find something that you like, and that will work. So I'm using King Red Modern right now, I just like the way it looks. Now, I can really just leave this like this. It does not need anything extra. I can make it bigger just because. Always, of course, make sure that you move it so that it is centered. Canva will give you pink lines, both for vertical and horizontal centering, um, just like that. And you can change your size here, or you can just click and drag. Some fonts you can bold and italicize, not all of them. You can also add effects such as like shadows, glitches, all kinds of things. Um, you can animate and create a gift title instead of a uh, solid title. I'm sticking with a solid title. Um, you can also add graphics. If you want to add a graphic, you simply go here to elements and then you can search here. If I go back to elements um, and just go to graphics, there is um, shapes, graphics, of course, AI, stickers, photos, videos, all that kind of stuff. For the title, the most you would want to use is a graphic, and then you can search the graphics for anything that you want. Um, so I did some um, samples ahead of time so that I didn't spend a lot of time on this part. Um, 
So I am just going to jump over to my Substack again and show you, actually, first I better show you how to save these. So once you've created it, you're happy with it, you're gonna click on the share and then this download button here on the left. Now, if you have Canva Pro, you can do a transparent background. You don't have to do a transparent background for your title, but if you have a colored, if you've chosen a theme that has a colored uh, background, then you need to either use the same color for the background of your word mark, or you need to save it as a transparent background and not um, a solid background so that it doesn't um, stick out too much. So then you're going to just hit download and that will download this graphic. Um, you can also change the type. I use PNGs there. They work great. You can use a JPEG for this one as well, but PNGs work really well. So I just leave it as the default. So going back to Substack Coach on my um, dashboard here, um, now I'm just going to add image. So upload image. And you probably, I don't know if you can actually see the box that it pulls up, but I have five different options to try. So first of all, the one that is not transparent with just the words so that you can see how that turns out. Um, if you have a free account on Canva. So it's just uploading that kind of has to do it over time. There we go. So that shows up nice and clear, really large, easy to see. Okay, so let's do a new image. This time I'm going to choose one that I did two different sizes of font so that you can kind of see how that messes things up a little bit. It's not too bad because I don't have a lot of words, but as soon as you change the font sizes, then immediately it becomes smaller. So I've kind of placed this differently. If the was the same size as Substack Coach and beside it, it would be a larger title and take up this whole space here. But because I've made it a smaller font, it automatically makes the whole title smaller. Um, the same thing happens with graphics, and it's definitely something worth playing around with, seeing if you can um, get it just exactly the way you want. I have seen some nice substacks with good word marks that have graphics included, um, but it will require a lot of finicky playing around. So this one's not too bad. It's got the little quill pen and the substack coach there. It's definitely readable. Um, you can see what happens if I make the graphic a lot bigger, well, not a lot, but bigger than the words. Um, just the words, it becomes, it's the graphic actually ends up being the same size as in the other one, but the words are a lot smaller. And then if I just go back to my usual, which is with the transparent background, just in case I decide to change the background color. And there we are with the nice big Substack coach at the top. So there is a really quick tutorial on using Canva to create your wordmark. I hope that helps. Talk to you soon.